History isn't just what we remember, it's also about what we've lost. We like to think of humanity in a cumulative sense, knowledge and experience building over time from the early weapons we used to hunt wild animals to the AI emerging today. But our development has not always been so linear. Human history has often involved two steps forward and one step back, rather than a constant rush toward progress. Ideas, inventions, manuscripts, sometimes even entire civilizations have vanished, changing the course of our story. Yet they don't always disappear entirely. Occasionally, fragments remain, physical pieces or memories that lie outside the neatly packaged narrative of human advancement. Across the centuries, there have been machines so advanced and so out of place that they challenge what we think we know about ancient technology. Some were centuries, even millennia, ahead of their time. Others vanished without a trace, leaving only scraps, clues pointing to lost knowledge, lost civilizations, and lost possibilities. Today, we're looking at some of them. In 1901, sponge divers made an astonishing find off the coast of a small Greek island called Antikythera. Among the sunken remains of an ancient shipwreck, buried under centuries of silt and coral, was a corroded, broken device, a mass of bronze gears fused together by time. Initially, it looked like nothing more than a rusted chunk of metal, but as scientists began cleaning away the corrosion, they realized they were looking at something that should not have existed. The Antikythera mechanism, as it became known, was an incredibly complex system of gears and dials built more than 2,000 years ago. Its level of precision was so advanced that nothing comparable would appear again until the 14th or 15th century. When researchers x-rayed the device, they discovered its true function, an analog computer capable of tracking planetary movements, predicting eclipses, and even scheduling the Olympic Games. At least 30 intricate bronze gears were designed to replicate the motion of the heavens with stunning accuracy. Yet nothing like it has ever been found again. The Greeks weren't known for building machines this sophisticated, and no ancient text describes a similar device. Still, the Antikythera mechanism exists, proving someone somewhere had mastered precision mechanics far beyond what we believed possible at that time. Now, the leading theory here is that knowledge of this technology disappeared with the decline of Greek civilization. The Roman Empire which followed was more focused on conquest than scientific progress, and the workshop that produced the Antikythera mechanism was never replicated. Although the Romans were the dominant military power of their age, they were also master engineers. They built roads, aqueducts, and war machines that expanded the boundaries of ancient technology. One of their most impressive achievements, however, was less glamorous, but enormously powerful. Massive hydraulic mining systems capable of stripping away entire mountains to extract gold on an industrial scale. Archaeologists have found evidence of these colossal mining operations in Spain, Britain, and the Balkans, sites so vast they still bear the scars of Roman activity. Yet the Romans didn't just hack away with pickaxes, they used a process known as hushing, an early form of hydraulic mining that involved releasing large quantities of stored water to erode rock and expose gold deposits. They built huge reservoirs above mining sites to collect rainwater. Once they had enough, they released it all at once, unleashing torrents that tore through soil and rock to reveal gold veins underneath. Wooden sluices, water wheels, and primitive pumps helped separate the gold from the debris, an operation centuries ahead of its time. This was industrial-scale mining 2,000 years before the Industrial Revolution. In some regions, entire mountains were hollowed out, leaving behind artificial canyons visible even today. So why didn't this expertise survive? Well, when the Roman Empire collapsed, its technologies fell into disuse. The extensive mining networks shut down, and without the Romans to maintain them, the knowledge behind these machines faded away. Hydraulic mining was eventually rediscovered in the 19th century during the California Gold Rush, but the Romans had done it first over 1,500 years earlier. In 1938, German archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig was examining artifacts in the National Museum of Iraq when he noticed a set of clay jars that defied categorization. Each jar contained a copper cylinder and an iron rod, all sealed with an asphalt-like material. It soon dawned on researchers what these objects might be. Batteries. When filled with an acidic liquid like vinegar or lemon juice, they would generate a small electrical charge, only a few volts, but enough to be useful. Now known as the Baghdad batteries, this discovery posed a startling question. 
Did ancient civilizations understand electricity 1,500 years before it was officially discovered? Some theorize these batteries were used for electroplating gold onto other metals, a technique not recognized in modern times until the 19th century. Others suggest they might have been employed in medical treatments to deliver mild electric shocks for pain relief. There's even speculation they were used in religious ceremonies where a slight electric jolt could seem mystical. But nobody really knows. No surviving records explain their purpose, nor do any ancient texts describe electrical experimentation from that era. If these jars truly functioned as batteries, then someone, somewhere, had a grasp of electricity long before history credits it. Leonardo da Vinci is celebrated as one of history's greatest polymaths, a painter, inventor, engineer, and scientist centuries ahead of his time. His notebooks are filled with intricate sketches and ambitious designs, some of which would not become reality for hundreds of years. Among his most intriguing creations were machines built not for art or science, but for war. In the late 15th century, da Vinci worked for some of Italy's most powerful rulers, devising formidable weapons. One of his most famous concepts was a tank, a huge dome-shaped vehicle protected by angled armor, virtually impervious to enemy fire. Driven by cranks and gears, soldiers could rotate inside and fire cannons in every direction. In essence, da Vinci imagined the modern tank in the 15th century. He also designed a giant crossbow, nearly 24 meters or 80 feet long, and meant to launch massive projectiles capable of smashing through castle walls. The sheer scale would have made it one of the most intimidating siege weapons ever constructed. And long before the Wright brothers, da Vinci sketched ideas for human flight. His notes include designs for bird-like wings and parachutes, concepts that wouldn't see true realization until the 20th century. Were any of these machines actually built? Well, most records suggest they were never constructed in full, likely due to their complexity. Still, we can't completely rule out the possibility that prototypes existed and were simply lost to time. In a world full of tales about cutting-edge technology being hidden from the public, it's not impossible to wonder if da Vinci's powerful patrons kept his invention secret. Some may have failed, while others might have influenced future designs in ways that we'll never fully know. Archimedes stands among the greatest mathematicians and engineers of the ancient world. Apart from his pivotal discoveries in physics, he's credited with creating one of antiquity's most terrifying and mysterious war machines, a weapon so extraordinary that many believe it was pure myth. Known as the Claw of Archimedes, it reportedly lifted enemy ships out of the water and smashed them to pieces. This took place during the Siege of Syracuse from 214 to 212 BCE, when Roman forces attacked the Greek city. Confident in their naval superiority, the Romans sailed in expecting an easy win. What they encountered instead was a nightmare scenario. According to historical accounts, a giant crane-like device was mounted on Syracuse's walls. When Roman ships sailed within range, massive hooks or claws descended into the water. Using a pulley system and counterweights, the claw would grab the ships, lift them partially out of the sea, and then drop or shake them violently until they capsized or crashed against the rocks. Panicked Roman soldiers watched as the vessels were wrenched from the waves by an invisible force. Fact or legend, though, well, historians have debated the claw's reality for centuries. No physical remains have been found, and some suspect that the accounts were exaggerated. However, modern experiments suggest it was feasible. In 2005, researchers at MIT built a small-scale version that worked on the same mechanical principles, concluding that Archimedes' device could indeed have functioned as described. The Romans ultimately captured Syracuse in 212 BCE, and Archimedes was killed in the assault. With him died a trove of Greek engineering knowledge. No city ever replicated his incredible designs again. Ancient Hindu texts reference something that shouldn't exist. Flying machines described centuries before the concept of airplanes. Known as Vimanas, they appear in sacred Sanskrit works like the Mahabharata, Ramayana, and Vedas. Far from simple celestial chariots, these accounts detail sophisticated craft piloted by humans capable of high-speed maneuvers and even aerial warfare. Their descriptions are remarkably accurate. Some Vimanas were disc-shaped, reminiscent of modern UFO sightings. Others were elongated cylinders or multi-tiered structures resembling mechanical birds. They were said to be powered by mercury vortex engines, an idea strangely akin to modern plasma propulsion theories. Passages also refer to weapons resembling missiles or lasers, beams of energy capable of destroying entire armies. Many scholars interpret the manas as symbolic or metaphorical, yet others argue the technical details suggest something more tangible. Could they hint at real, now lost technology? Some researchers speculate these accounts may stem from an advanced ancient civilization that vanished without a trace, or perhaps they just described the UFOs of antiquity. 
No physical evidence, blueprints, or remains of these machines has surfaced. If such technology did exist, it was erased by time, hidden, or intentionally suppressed. Nikola Tesla wasn't just an inventor, he was a visionary who existed decades ahead of his time. He contributed to the development of alternating current, radio waves, and wireless energy. Yet, one of his strangest and most unsettling creations was a device he allegedly destroyed out of fear. Officially called the Tesla Oscillator, it's more widely known as the Earthquake Machine. In 1893, Tesla developed a small mechanical oscillator that produced high-frequency vibrations. He believed that if he tuned it to the natural frequency of any given structure, it could resonate and amplify vibrations until that structure shook itself apart. By Tesla's account, in 1898, he attached the device to a steel beam in his New York laboratory. As it began vibrating, the entire building started to shake. Within minutes, tools and furniture rattled violently, and the tremors spread to nearby buildings. Terrified assistants smashed the oscillator with a hammer before the neighborhood would collapse. Tesla later claimed it might have leveled the entire city if left unchecked. Though some doubt Tesla's claims of its destructive power, the principle of mechanical resonance is real. The infamous Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapse in 1940 proved how repeated vibrations can destroy large structures, and modern seismic vibrators are essentially controlled versions of Tesla's concept. Fearing its potential use as a weapon, Tesla reportedly destroyed all working models and any detailed plans. Some believe the US military later experimented with resonance-based weaponry, though no concrete records exist. The so-called earthquake machine remains one of history's most mysterious lost inventions, a device so potent that its creator saw fit to erase it before the world could harness or misuse its power. History's filled with missing pieces, machines that appeared briefly then disappeared, leaving only legends, fragments, or puzzling references in ancient texts. The Antikythera mechanism, centuries ahead of its time, but no other device like it was ever found. The Baghdad batteries suggest a lost understanding of electricity. Tesla's earthquake machine was supposedly so powerful that even its inventor chose to destroy it. How many other breakthroughs were lost before the world even realized what they were? Some inventions vanished with their creators, others were destroyed on purpose, a few were simply too advanced for their eras, misunderstood and abandoned. What else might be hidden in forgotten manuscripts, buried in ancient ruins, or resting at the bottom of the sea in long-lost shipwrecks? Perhaps some of the greatest technological advancements aren't ahead of us, they're behind us, erased by the march of time. If these marvels had survived, would our world be more advanced today? Imagine if Roman hydraulic mining had evolved over 1,500 uninterrupted years, or if the knowledge behind the Antikythera mechanism had guided technology for two millennia. It makes you wonder where we might stand now. Thank you for watching.